business is just a game. It is just a game. The longer I'm in it, the, the more I realize that. I started back in 2008, and uh, I knew it was going to be a journey. I knew it right from the very beginning. Starting from zero, you know, my family wasn't in entrepreneurship. They didn't have money, didn't have connections. And I always ask people, hey, did you start your business or did your daddy? I think it's really important to, to kind of get out on the table because then you're able to see where they come from and what they accomplished on their own. Business is just a game. There's offense and there's defense. You see people start a business like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll get it... Uh, you know, a couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand dollars put into advertisements and let's go. Let's see what happens. See, that's straight offense. I think you have to build a foundation first. I'm a big believer in building up the walls. Walls of defense, I call it. If anybody researches you after they see the advertisement and there's nothing there on Google or on YouTube or on Instagram or Facebook, what conclusion are they going to come to? Your defense sucks. They're able to just go right by you. A defense, a strong defense is what's going to win this game. And so if you have a lot of articles or if you have a Wikipedia page, if you have a huge following on Instagram or a huge following on YouTube or Facebook, when people research you, your walls of defense are extremely extremely high, all right? And people are going to see that immediately and know that this person has some serious capabilities. Show that to them right from the get-go. Make it easy for them to see that you are built up, built from the ground up. If they see something related to a media, Forbes, Inc., anything like that, that is making a move in the best form of defense as possible. A lot of people are only thinking offense. Let's create a product, let's get it out there and let's try to sell. And that does work. That will work if it's attached to a big name. See, these people who come on to big companies, you know, I worked for a big corporation before, two big corporations before, everybody knew their name. And it's easy for me to pick up the product and just go and sell. They already built the defensive walls up. There's so much stuff that they can find out. They have a lot of testimonials. They have a lot of clients already. If you are starting from zero, starting from zero, you do not have that yet. Build the walls, get clients. If you spend the time to get clients, to get their testimonials, video testimonials, anything that you can put out there and say, hey, I've done this work before. When people see you, they will not doubt it. I thought that as soon as I had a business, if I made it look big on my webpage, you know, in webpages, they're really, that's a defensive move. Posting on Instagram, that's a defensive move. Posting on YouTube, defensive move. Automation to reach out to people, offense. Advertising offense. Anything that you're going out to touch people, talk to people, networking events, this is offense. You are going to need that. But if you are able to build up an image, you are spending money in protecting yourself, your words, a book, all right? A book is a defensive move. So it's one of the greatest defensive moves out there. If you write a book, and obviously I own a company that helps entrepreneurs write books in 30 days or less. People will be able to see that on Amazon. You can talk about it on all your social media content. People are able to Google you and say, whoa, this person has a book. Instantly, these people will say to themselves, that's one little checkbox that's just automatically checked. And I'm telling you, before you make a purchase, there's, there's a lot of uh, checkboxes. Now it's different from person to person or business to business. Speed could be a oh, checkbox on yours. They're gonna be done fast. Is there gonna be strong communication? Do they have a long history? Do I know someone who bought that product? Those checkboxes need to be checked off before they buy from you. And I'm out here on a run, by the way. That's why I'm a little sweaty. When you're building your company from the ground up, get into videos, get podcast interviews, get pictures with people, travel just to get pictures with people. Maybe you're not trying to sell or anything. Work with clients, meet with clients. That's an offensive move, by the way, but you are taking pictures and videos and everything along the way to document the journey. That's gonna build up way more of a defense. Do whatever is necessary to, to savor all that, whether it's a Facebook Live or whether it's a, just a YouTube video or an Instagram post, whatever. All this, you need to save all these pictures. Everything that you do, pictures of people. You go to a networking event, went to Vegas for 10 nights road gone, and I took a bunch of pictures you know, with Bradley and, and all these big names. And all of that will be used as a defensive move down the road even it is right now, but it'll always be there. And I keep thinking that every day that passes, your defense should be stronger. Your defense will help you secure deals down the road, which will lead to more money, which will allow you to play offense faster, better, stronger, quicker, easier, more fluid-like, less of a hassle. And it's fascinating to see that the longer we keep doing this, every day that passes, your defense goes up a little bit. And then when big names come along your way, you will be able to sell a hell of a lot easier. They're gonna do a little quick little research. Hey, I know this person, I've done, work with that person, oh my God, they they know my network. Oh my God, I don't even have to think, get this person in here for a meeting, or let's do a Zoom call, or let's do a phone call. The assurance is just, it's secure. And that's why when people who are not starting from zero, let's say it's your 
a family business, been around 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years. The clientele is already built in. It's trusted already. And if you say you're in business for this amount of time, it's a defensive move. We've done this much in sales, defensive move. Your defense is strong, okay? The longer you're in business, the defense just goes up. Revenue goes up, client list goes up, word of mouth goes up, everything. And you become just this juggernaut. Now there's a lot of people who become very, 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 I guess content is the word. And they'll lay it off the gas. And I've seen even in my own business, where we're doing really well, we don't want to overwhelm ourselves, let's, let's lay off the gas a little bit. And they're saying, well, let's just coast, let's, let's, let's play offense for a while, let's forget about defense. And if you forget putting blog posts together, uh, podcasts, if you forget to keep doing that, it's gonna bite you. Maybe not next week or next month, but it's gonna bite you down the, down the road, maybe a year from now. What we do is we actually have these videos we put out at least three or four times a week. We're building up our defense every time we do so. Are we getting thousands and thousands and thousands of views right out of the gate? Of course not. Market is so flooded right now, you really need to keep putting out content. And over time, if you have hours and thousands of videos and enough views, people are gonna see that you're more committed. Really, the level of uh, defense is, is really judged on commitment. How long have you been doing it? Who have you worked with? How much have you been doing whatever you're doing? How many times do you do this? And you're able to make it easier for you whenever you do take that money, that little bit of money that you make, and you put into an advertisement. And let's say you get a reach of 10,000 people. And 100 of those people are really, really, really interested. And then they go and look and they see all the content, they see who you've worked with. And you can really take advantage of all that work that maybe took five, 10, 15 years to do. Offense and de defense, think about it in those terms. Defense first, defense first. Let's think about it in hockey terms. I'm a big hockey guy, Pittsburgh Penguins. They built it around Sidney Crosby, but they also built it around Mark andre Fleury back in the day. Those two, you might, not, you might have heard more of Sidney, but they had a goalie to back it up. And going into the playoffs and the games that really matter, you need a great goalie. I don't care who you are, what team, your goalie is the most important player. If your goalie's strong, it works its way up, and all of a sudden now the offense can play a little bit better. Think about it in football. Not a big fan of football. Oh, can't wait for the XFL, by the way. Defensive wins cha championships. They always say that. And the same thing with your business. Make your defense so strong that it's absolutely impenetrable and you're going to be able to win the big games you're going to win the big clients it's going to take a long time to build that up the right way but you're going to thank yourself quite a bit whenever it's all said and done when you do have the money and you do have the freedom and you start to advertise they'll know exactly who you are we'll see you in the next one